In Chapter 3 of F, Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, Nick Carraway describes the lavish parties that Jay Gatsby throws every Saturday night at his West Egg Mansion. These extravagant gatherings are attended by a diverse array of people, most of whom have not been invited but simply show up to enjoy the opulence. Gatsby's parties are legendary for their opulence and grandeur, featuring endless supplies of food, drink, and entertainment, reflecting the excesses of the jazz age. Nick receives a rare and formal invitation to one of these parties. Feeling out of place among the extravagant revelry, he seeks out familiar faces and soon meets Jordan Baker. The two of them explore Gatsby's house and eventually encounter the mysterious host himself. To Nick's surprise, Gatsby is a young, charming man with an enigmatic smile who appears to stand apart from the hedonistic chaos of his own parties. Gatsby strikes Nick as an elegant figure with a deep, unspoken longing. During the party, Nick overhears various rumors about Gatsby's past, suggesting that no one really knows the truth about him. Speculations range from Gatsby being a German spy during World War I to a relative of Kaiser Wilhelm. These rumors contribute to Gatsby's mystique and highlight the theme of appearance versus reality. Gatsby speaks privately with Jordan, and afterwards, she reveals to Nick that Gatsby has shared something extraordinary with her, though she doesn't disclose the details. Nick observes the stark contrast between Gatsby's public persona and his private demeanor. Despite being surrounded by people, Gatsby appears isolated, observing the festivities rather than participating in them. This detachment hints at Gatsby's deeper, unfulfilled desires and his singular focus on a particular goal. The chapter also delves into Nick's developing feelings for Jordan, though he notes her dishonesty and carelessness. Nonetheless, he begins a romantic relationship with her, adding complexity to his own character and involvement in the story. The chapter's opulent setting and the behaviors of the guests serve to critique the superficiality and moral decay of the era. Many guests exhibit reckless behavior, indicative of their shallow pursuit of pleasure without regard for consequences. Gatsby's party becomes a microcosm of the larger societal decadence, where the pursuit of the American dream is distorted into a quest for material excess. Fitzgerald uses the chapter to further develop Gatsby's character as a paradoxical figure, an embodiment of the American dream's allure and its inherent emptiness. Gatsby's wealth and parties are revealed to be a facade, masking a profound sense of yearning and the tragic impossibility of recapturing the past. The chapter ends with Nick's reflection on his summer in West Egg, noting the surreal and often disillusioning experiences he has had. This reflection underscores the novel's themes of illusion versus reality and the fleeting nature of happiness in the pursuit of the American dream.